Hi, my name is Jack Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. Wanted to uh, do a video today. It's about uh, one of one of you viewers has sent me your Phantom for repair, and it's obviously got video issues. So we've done some diagnostics over the emails, and obviously we did a, obviously a video to give you a possibility of what the problem may be. We've obviously, got a bit stuck, so the subscriber sent it to me basically. So if you're watching it, it's, it's your Phantoms now arrived here with me. So we're going to do an unboxing, see what you've packed inside, and we'll then start doing a video. So this video is going to be a very short one. It's going to be sort of um, unpacking the box, see what, what's come here, and then uh, I'm going to film, and then we're going to do quick diagnostics, and then we'll do one. We'll do a repair basically, because obviously I'm going to have to get you you a quote uh, on what the cost cost is. So first of all, we need to sort of analyse what the issues are. So. Um, just quick updates on my Facebook site. I was going to do some filming in Guildford. I've got problems with my car, the MOT issues, then my gearbox is gone. So I've been raising, scrimping, scraping money together. Uh, it cost me over £1,040 for a new gearbox and clutch that's been fitted. Come back and find out the little bits of my MOT I can't do. So now I've decided to borrow some money off of Peter and stuff, uh, or you know, colleagues and friends, to. Uh, get the car in tomorrow basically to get my car back on the road then I can get to Guildford and do I'm going to film the cathedral um because that's quite a nice view it's on on basically on the hill in, in Guildford and I'm also going to do the castle but I'm going to do it sort of late evening ish when the weather's sort of a bit more cooler and uh, obviously not so many people around as well which is obviously a good safety point as well and we can keep a nice 50 feet clear of the, of the buildings that should be a nice video video to watch but let's get back to this. Um, don't forget, guys, UK Drone Show. I've got free tickets to give away. So um, if you want want some tickets or win a ticket, simple. Just uh, send me an email. So competition time. So make sure on the subject is competition time. I need to know your contact details. I need to know your address and phone number. And the reason why you would like me to give you a ticket to the UK Drone Show. So make sure you're in the UK or if you're abroad and you come into the UK in December, which is December the 5th and 6th, I've got tickets for both, Saturday and Sunday. Make sure, um, and you are going to go to the show in the UK, then you can enter as well, not a problem. Okay, so I've got about, I think about 25 tickets for Saturday and 25 tickets for Sunday to give away as well. And the you guys and the, the runners up from the last competition, um, I've now got the t shirts, uh, as you can see, some of them printed off. I had a few issues with a couple of them, so now I've got the final designs done. So we're going to get them out, shipped out to you very shortly, probably necessarily probably next week. Uh, but I'll send you an email anyway, give you an exact date you'll get them, so I haven't forgotten, okay? And these will go on for sale as well. We're looking at £18, sorry, not 18 £15 per t-shirt. So that's the retail cost we're doing. And uh, obviously posting packages included on top of all that. So I'm going to get the post package cost. And I'm going to create a nice section on the website for you guys so you can get them. I've got two designs at the moment. So I'm working on a third and a fourth and a fifth design, basically. So you, you can have choices. So all those are going on the site. And it's a 14 days turnaround time. The reason why I've done it that way is get the orders in. I can go to the printers, means I, I, I then print t shirts in bulk. I don't print them and keep them in stock. So they're all freshly printed when they get to you guys, basically. So um, I, I buy t shirts in separately, get a better deal than the shop does, and the shop will just print yeah, um, my designs on the t-shirts and then they'll be shipped straight to you guys. So 14 turnarounds gives me enough time to get a lot of orders in, gives me enough time then get more printed one go and out the door. So 14 days turnaround time is the tops. If I can get it out quicker, it uh, depends on the order, how many orders I get in as well, then fine. If I only get three or four orders, I will still create, um, print those t-shirts and get them to you. So again, just 14 days turnaround. So that's the bit out of the way. So let's now look at what's come through the post. So I've just got the box over here. As you can see, it's, um, let's get it down a bit. As you can see, very well packed. Okay, so he's really stuck a lot of cellar tape into this. So let's further juice, see what we got. I know it's a Phantom, um, it's a Phantom Vision Plus, I think. I'm not sure if it's a version two or whether it's a version three, but we should find out in a sec. So if you're watching, here's your Phantom. I'm opening it up very well sellotaped, <laughs> quite hard to get into and today is quite high temperature so in, in the garage here I'm actually sweating like a pig. <laughs> um, God you've done this well I can finally get into it. So oh it's probably look well well look. this is um <laughs> oh dear, oh, look. that's a bit there, a bit there Certainly didn't want this um, coming loose. Oh wow, I've got the original box in as well, fantastic. 
so it's well padded so any guys sending repairs in to me make sure it, you send it in the original boxing because it's obviously well padded for the phantom because i don't want it damaged in it's pointless don't want any extra damage done in the post you know what the postman's like so there you go so we got phantom 2 vision plus oh sorry i've knocked the camera then lots of packaging fantastic all this will be posted back so gonna box out um dun 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 cool got a nice posh smell that smells very sort of that's nice smell makes my garage smell a bit better now so let's go to the box um to one side okay right now so this is a um just look in the box what version it is they always tell you on side uh vision two yeah it's actually saying what version number it is so now it's a phantom uh, vision two but we don't know whether it's a plus one or plus two okay we'll find out so i can get inside yeah because my box had it printed on the side here i don't which version it is but it's just saying it's a phantom vision two plus doesn't say it's a uh, version three but we'll have a look so don't get version three confused with phantom three they're completely different so let's get in the box So here we go. So what have we got? Wow, he's got everything packed, the original packed in. This is cool. So he sent me, we got the extra padding in there, that's good. So there's the Phantom itself. So the Phantom. And I've got the controller. And he's even got his strap as well. So that's there. Let's get all the bits out. So we got one phantom, one controller. I'll get the one camera view in a sec. So you can have a look a bit better. So get in there. And I think he said he's packed his phone in here as well. He has, there you go. So also got his um, phone. So you want to make sure the app on it's working. So brilliant. Um, and that's it. That's all we need. So make sure nothing down the side. That's all this bit. Instructions props and stuff other oh, props are in there as well so oh, okay broken props okay well I've got spare props anyway so we'll we'll do a flight test so once I get to find out what the issue is and then I'll get the cost back to you and then get it all set up working and then we'll then have a look at doing um, a full test flight I'm gonna do a test on that before we pack it up and send it back to you so let's put that all to one side on the packaging so now, uh, right, get on my very small chair. So what we got here, we got Phantom Vision 2. This is the, yeah, this is the old version. So it's the version 2 one, not the version 3. You can tell by that with the compass uh, side here, that's the old compass. So um, yeah, so this is the same as my broken one, which is this one here. See, that's my broken one. but. The only thing that was wrong with my broken one was my gimbal. Everything else works on fine. So we've got video issues with this this Phantom. That's the main problem why he um, the guy sent it in to me. So we're gonna um, what I'm gonna do is I can do two things. I can remove the gimbal from the bottom of this and fill it to mine. Cause I know mine works, and if if it works on the app. Then we know it's not. We then we know it's not the gimbal itself at fault. We know it's something inside the Phantom itself. Or the other way you can do it, because obviously I've already got a pretty good idea what it could be, is the video transmitter in here. Uh, it's quite a small box. I can take that out, fit my one in because I know it works, and then tie it all up with his phone basically. And if the video signal works, that's the fix. So that's quite straightforward. So that will be sixty-five pounds from what I've seen so far for replacement video transmitter so if it is a video transmitter 65 pounds and then 15 pounds of my time so but um, but I'm not going to sp specify 15 pounds of my time because it takes me to five ten minutes to put it in there then obviously uh, I'll, I'll do I'll do you a deal basically it's not a problem so this is um, so th for this video here let's just quickly have a look over um, and what I'm going to do is we're going to actually power it up and see so first thing I'm going to do Get all, oh. 
That's it. Remember to move the gimbal bit. So powered up. She's on, she's on. And what I'm going to do is use my phone for a minute to, because it's done its calibration bit now. So we're going to attach my camera to this and see. Oh, helps if we put the range extender on. That would help. Um, should pick up in a minute. Because just don't want to make sure it's not the phone. So out, this mainly is out ruling what it could be to start with. So now I've got the Phantom here to look at. I can literally start um, diagnosing what issues are. So the range extender is on. And we're not getting any signal. Ah, got it. There's the Phantom. So we've got the Phantom up now. So I can attach to it. So unable to join. Unable to join. It's not linking up. Now it's connecting, I think. Yeah, so that's connected. Right, so my phone is now connected to the range extender and it's all good, good. So I should now be able to bring the app up. DJI Vision app. This is using an iPhone and I think his phone's not an iPhone. It's another phone. Don't know, have a look at what phone it is anyway. So, shows I'm connected to the Phantom, all, all okay. Click on camera, and it will should. It's got a wordy thing going round. Wordy thing going round. Do pan. Ah, see now on here, the pan bit for moving the camera up and down works. And scroll down again, and the panning is working like so, fine. So the pan up and down on the app is working fine. So it's communicating with the camera fine, but there's no video throughput. So there's no video out, because it's still trying to gather video. So it's actually not properly working. Yeah, so I'm having problems. So what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna, we've got the app connected, we know the pan and tilt's working on here, and we should have the pan and tilt. Okay, this is the old controller, so it um, doesn't have the pan and tilt on it. So, um, so what I was thinking was, because obviously the phone communicates through the range extender, and the range extender then talks to the Phantom. So, it could be a couple of things, okay? It can't be the phone, because uh, my phone works fine with my Phantom, works fine with all my other bits and pieces. So it's not the phone or the phone software because this runs the latest version. Still trying to pick up the camera but can't see it. So it could be two, it could, could be two things. It could be the range extender causing a problem, not um, sending the video signal through, but you're sending the data to talk to the camera through fine. Because I can set up um, record on and the camera's recording and I can stop recording and the camera's stop recording. So, so it's communicating fine with um, the settings but it's not giving the video signal so I got a feeling it could be the range extender that's causing the problem okay so we're going to eliminate that first by um, I've got um, another one which is my test one which is the same one for my phantom so it's this one here so I'm gonna I'm gonna bind this to his I'm gonna bind the range extender to this one as well because this range extender works fine there's no problems with that because it works perfectly all right with my, my one um, and then we we'll see if the video comes through. The video comes through, then we know it's a range extender. Okay, easy enough to replace. Simple solution. But if the video signal still doesn't come through, then it then it obviously points to the one inside the Phantom itself that is causing the problem. So I just want to, I just want to outrule stuff simply. There's no point diving straight into there and, and rip stuff out and try things. We will just go backwards a step and we'll go right. We've connected the app up. It's talking to the range extender. We can see it's moving the camera up and down. There's no camera saying whinings and jumping around. So it's not the camera at fault. So I've got a feeling it's either two things, that um, range extender or the transmitter. So next stage, uh, I'll bind, bind, rebind my controller to this one. We'll try it again. The video signal comes through, problem solved. If it doesn't, then we'll swap the, the transmitter out in here with my spare one, because I, I know that works. And I wouldn't have to rebound it because it, that one's already bound to this one. We'll power it up and then we'll see, okay? 
And then if that don't work, then I'm completely confused because there's nothing else we can try try to do. So it could be an omen that's uh, um, there's some sort of weird thing going on here. I don't know, but yeah. So um, we'll do that next. So very short video, just a quick intro on what we're going to do, and I'm going to do a video a bit later where we bind all this up because I need to get I need to get this upstairs onto my Mac and do the binding process. And stuff so I'm not going to show the binding process because I did a video on that anyway so I'll just quickly bind it together then we'll do uh, another little section to sort of say um, yeah we've bound it it's working no it's not uh, and then we we'll do another video of me taking the top part off put, and then doing a swap out as well and hopefully then it may be a fix so I thought I'd do that first and at least we know what parts to purchase so if it is that we can then do a quote for the for a new one of those if it's not if it's this then we can do a quote which I know this one's about 65 pounds but I'm not sure what the price of that would be to replace um, I do have a couple of these spare, which are brand new ones, because I brought a couple of these controllers to upgrade. Uh, and also I can give, the, if you're listening, I can give you an option of upgrading your hand controller to, to the full proper pan and tip one, which is this here, because these will work with this version of Phantom. So I can say to you, well, rather than sort of um, pay out uh, for one little bit, we'll do the whole lot. Maybe, maybe. we'll give you options. We'll go, there's lots of options we can give you, so it's up to you and depends on money ways as well. So, for the moment, this wraps up this video. So, the next video will be where I rebind these together and um, and go from there. So, until next time, fly safe, be safe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.